Welcome to my channel, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Be baptized in water if you are a new believer in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and receive the Holy Spirit and read the word of God. Amen. Today I would like to show you this picture and first I'm going to read some scripture to you and keep it in mind and I will show you what I'm trying to tell you with this picture. Proverbs 30, 25. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat food in the summer. 1 Peter 24, 25. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass, the grass withers, and the flower thereof falls away. But the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, as you can see over here, you see a flower which withers, and they are ants, very happy, and working together, carrying things. And what I'm trying to tell you with this picture is, no matter if, uh, which, which, which church you go to, or if you are a real Christian, or you're a new believer in Christ, I had a big problem as a new believer in Christ. I had no idea what to do. I just went to church once in a week, and I was thinking, okay, I'm safe. What do I do now? Because Jesus is telling me, follow me, but how do I follow Jesus? And uh, God showed me that no matter how old you are, you can always preach the gospel. You can always mm, carry the gospel to other people, to your family, to your friends. Uh, of course, you will be persecuted for this, for this gospel. They're not going to like it. They're going to think you're crazy and everything insane. But that's what Jesus wants us about. It's not like we don't know about this. So if you're like... 20 or you're like 30 or you don't need to be a pastor to preach the gospel to people it's it's better to to say like a simple testimony to some people and tell in a few words how that god's changed your life that jesus changed your life and and you don't do certain things anymore and it's all because you realize that you're a sinner that you need a savior and jesus christ died for our sins on the cross on the third day he resurrected um he was buried he resurrected after the third day he went to heaven uh he's sitting next to the father on the throne and he will come again a second time for us so there's hope and un until his second coming coming you have to preach the gospel no matter where or, or to who or how uh, just follow the Holy Spirit, you know, you, you receive the Holy Spirit, that's the most important, if there's Holy Spirit nudge you, nudge you in your heart and, and, and gives you an uneasy feeling that you have to go there and, and tell this person something, that's how you follow Jesus Christ, basically, and you can share the gospel, no matter how old you are, no matter uh, where you are, you can simply, like, some people... You can write a book through books. You can go and fellowship with 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 people. They are curious about the word of God. Take your Bible and say, "Can I can I read with you some word of God, or can I teach you something that God teached me?" Or some people can use to preach the gospel through radio. Some people are good in singing. They can sing songs. How much they love Jesus and uh, all about the gospel. And spread the gospel through this some people can can simply give some tracks out out or some people can just go and help out people like with true love you can spread the gospel like you see somebody alone in the park who's crying or um 
some other person that that cannot carry the the bags alone that's what i did uh, i had even no idea that i'm carrying the gospel i just was literally new believer like a few days and i was so excited about god and everything and then i went to to a store to buy some food and i was driving the car and then i saw older man like one old man he couldn't carry his grocery bags and he was going by by walk he, he didn't have a car and uh, something in me i think it was the holy spirit tried to tell me like come on do something good help him out i'm like i don't know this guy like why would should i do something for him so i went back and i opened the window i asked him if i could help him out and you know he just he was very super old and i asked him if he wants to get in my car and i drove him back home it was just two blocks away of course i wouldn't do it with everybody you know when you feel the holy spirit is convincing you to do something so do it you won't regret it i did it and i think he was um arabic or something i don't know which culture he was or egyptian or something and he, he just stared at me and he said thank you thank you and uh wow you are from god or something like this and i was like what what is he talking about but see there you have it when you do something nice to people through love they see god in you they see like wow there is there is a god they start to open up for wow they like there is a god like maybe they won't believe immediately in jesus christ but they start to think about god and and wow there is a god maybe i should think more about this you know and when you do something do it in the name of jesus christ so they know when you're doing something good for them they know you're doing it doing it in the name of jesus christ that's how you share the gospel and uh no that's what god is calling us to do as christian christian people um new believers in christ don't sit at home and think okay just the pastor can carry out the word of god no go out the word share your testimony and share how god saved you uh use tracks you can buy them uh, online or make your own tracks at home when you have time and write down uh, jesus christ uh, died for us rose again uh, share the simple gospel on a track if you don't have a printer hand it out to people that's how i got saved literally i was I went to the gym and um, there was a track, somebody left the track over there about heaven and hell or something, heaven and Jesus Christ and I just took it home. I had no idea what it's about but I have time. I had time and I was reading it and I realized that I, I'm, I need a savior and that's how it began. So don't give up that your work is too little, no, just because there's a pastor in, in the church doesn't mean they do, you know, you, you let them do everything um some pastors they don't even teach up to preach the simple gospel i realize they are talking and talking but I, there's nothing about jesus they are just laughing and talking about their own life but the people go out there like without even knowing jesus if you ask me so why do we sit at home the whole week and go once in a week to the to the church when we can just walk around pray for people, share the gospel and love. If we know that they have problems with like, some people are thinking they, they cannot sleep, they have depression, why don't we ask them to pray with them and and do it with the love? And, uh, because if we don't do it, we're gonna be held accountable in front of God that we never shared the gospel. That's what we are here for, to share the love and the gospel of Christ to use our talents god's gonna ask us like okay you had this talent and this talent. like you as you you love you know how to dance you know how to sing you know how to have a youtube channel for these things why don't you why didn't you use it for my gospel because if we fail as christians i don't blame my parents that they never uh that they never shared the gospel with me. I blame the Christians actually because my parents never been Christian. My my uh, my parents, my family, they are all Catholic and they never read the Bible and things. I blame the Christian people that they never carried out enough the the gospel, the tracks, the 
the law for Christ. They, they just kept it for themselves. They never went there and said, listen, do you know Jesus? Uh, there was just one man. He, he had a, a sign, Jesus loves you. And this came up back to my mind after 10 years later, Jesus loves you, a simple sign about Jesus loves you. And that's, I think that's how it all started because we are like a flower like god is saying we are like a flower flower that withers our life passes by but the only thing that we may remember when our lives are fall is falling apart is the word of god that somebody else planted in us and keep planting the word of god is don't just give up after one time because the the devil's coming and and takes away the seed as, as fast as possible from us but that's why we need to keep planting if somebody's interested if we see there's faith in somebody somebody is interested in the word of god keep keep feeding them with the word of god and maybe one day this person will become a pastor you'd never know and you have to focus on the kingdom of god to spread it through your talents whatever you know how to do it now even if you're 10 and you believe in christ even if you're 20 or 30 or 60 or 80 don't think you're too late it's too late no it's never too late have a friend over to for coffee and tell them what god did for you what jesus did for you ask them if you can pray i'm sure there are some people they have loved ones and they are they are sick you, you can say oh should i pray for you i have some muslim friends they um they don't believe in jesus they don't believe really like they have their own god or whatever they believe and one day a friend came to me and asked me if i can pray for the sick mom you see you never know and that's how we we shouldn't just leave them for themselves alone and say oh we have jesus you don't have it i'm not gonna do anything for you no you need to use everything you have to spread the gospel because if you don't do it nobody will don't wait for other people they are too busy there there are too many people to um there are too many people in this world they need to hear the gospel even in america you don't need to go even to all this this poor country to spread the gospel so many people in america they don't even need god know god so yeah just go there ask the holy spirit to lead you to people to show you what you could do show you for who you should pray you know um i know it's hard sometimes to spread the gospel because the people don't want to hear it but if you see somebody got faith even if they turn away from you after a while you never know if they will come back you know so don't give up um share sing songs on youtube share it on instagram share it on facebook your faith in jesus christ you can do all, all your social media, just post things about Jesus, how great he is, what he did for your testimony is very powerful. Um, if you're a teenager, if you're older, you can go in the park and see when people are crying or have problems, ask them if you can pray for them, uh, pray for them in your spirit when you see somebody. That's what I do sometimes when I see somebody, um, you know somewhere i'm just praying for them in the spirit that's what you can do um when you see somebody weak uh, older try to have a conversation with him, with them and uh tell them that that you believe in jesus christ that he changed your life if you see that they have addictions you know come with love to them i hope you i could help you out um in the name of jesus bless you blessed be your home and yeah good luck spreading the gospel of the lord almighty bye